Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meaty69, and we are back with another OP replay, and it is Phoenix driving a grill. Now, when I watch this battle, I see the damage anyway, and I had to show it because it's a really, really good battle. It's I wanted to do this as a premiere. Because I wanted to see what you guys actually think of the battle. And he, the tactics he used, his decision making, RNG and pure luck that gets him through this battle. Now, I know what the comment section is going to be. It's all going to be, he got lucky. He got lucky. He got RNG, blah, 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 blah. Now, to be honest, I hate the people or I hate the comments like that. He got lucky. I mean, I've had battles with an Object 140 doing 8,000 something damage. And a lot of the comments were, he was lucky. Now, come on, get a grip. It's You need a bit of luck. You need a bit of luck. Now, Phoenix was sitting on the train tracks. He was looking to support his mediums. And he didn't have any shots whatsoever. So he's decided to change his tactics and go and help the heavies that need the help so he does get the shot into the e100 but unfortunately he can't save his uh, ally and i like what he does here and now he goes back so he, again he's got no shots he can see the mediums uh need a bit of help so he's going to go and support his mediums so there's two mediums on two mediums you put a grill in that then the favor is goes automatically your way uh he gets a nice roll into the leopard there so now the leopard is really, really low hit points. So he's going to try and help his leopard. He's going to get a shot in the T60, uh, uh, T62A. So now the leopard PTA has gone. So it's two against two round here. But he's going to get a nice, again, nice H. Uh, well, not a nice, actually. That was a very low roll HE shot into the leopard. And because of that HE roll, he couldn't save his leopard. Now, I love this bit. It's just, it made me laugh. Now, this leopard, he's running away. So he knew he just shot. The grill just shot. And he tries one shot that just donks. And unfortunately, the grill misses here. And the, and the leopard is still running. He doesn't want to turn his gun. He just doesn't want to know. He just wants to run away. And I thought it was just quite hilarious how a grill is chasing a leopard around. However, he does manage to kill him, but by this time, his team have absolutely vanished. And there goes the Fosh. Tries a snapshot into that E100, does the right thing. I would probably have done the same. It's worth a shot. You never know with the RNG. But the best thing for him, he sat at the back. He hasn't really sat at the back, but he hasn't been front line. He stayed second line, even with the mediums. And he saved his hit points. Now that is a game changer and i always say in tanks like uh like the grill uh, any any tank really you, you need to save your hit points don't go rushing in exchange shots lose a lot of hit points yes you might be able to get the kill but you're going to lose a lot of hit points and phoenix has done that really really well and it's at this point he's done 3k damage and he's against four Four tanks left. Now, you've got the E100, that's a one shot. But the other three are, are full hit points. They are all full hit points, I believe. So he's flanking around. And this is where I thought, just as he gets around this corner, a, he's going to spot an IS-7. And he does the right thing. And this is where his ability and his decision-making comes into play so he at the moment he's not spotted anything he is now going to spot i think a yag tiger that sorry is a one shot uh, two shot sorry and he gets a lovely roll into that yag tiger now he is a one shot unless he low rolls so now the yag tiger's on the one shot and the e100 so he's going to reload again he saves his hit points doesn't lose any hit points and he's bringing it down to a one versus three now there is an is7 now of course, he's going to aim at the IS-7, and it won't until after he shoots him, he realises he's AFK. So what does he do? It's not free damage for him. He's going to leave it. He's, he's, there's no point 
fighting an AFK when you've got an E100 here, you've got a full HP IS-7. Now look at that RNG, 960 HE blocked damage. That's just, and this is where I say people were gonna start saying, oh, he got lucky with that bounce, it's a grill. And not only did he get lucky with that bounce, he got lucky with that miss. Again, he does not want to know the IS-7, but all is not what it seems to be, and it's going to change very, very soon. Again, he gets a, he misses the IS-4 misses, which allows him to get a shot into him, and again, he's still full hit points. So 6.8k damage, he does get the HE shot into him, which takes over 500 damage, but now he can't get the gun depression but he does still manage to get a nice roll into him. Uh, IS-4 again shoots him, but now he's going to have him on the reload. And this is where I think, right, you've got this. But just watch what happens. He clears the IS-4. Then, oh, all of a sudden, the IS-7 comes alive. Now, if that was me, I'd actually be pissed off. I would be pissed off if that happened. You 7.7k damage. You're, you clear the... the one versus four, down to the last tank, and then he comes alive, and he should not win this. He's on 387. That's a one-shot. And again, if the 960 damage wasn't lucky enough, he gets 177 HE damage into him, which now leaves him on 210 hit points, but he did manage to get a shot in the IS-7. The IS-7 makes a bad, bad move there, and he thinks he's still reloading, but he just, by the skin of his teeth, managed to reload, and he takes that battle, six kills, eight point, what is it? Let's have a look. 8.7k damage, 50,000 credits. He gets the, the pulls, he gets the Kolobinov. He, 1974 uh, XP, so a great battle. Let me guys know what you think of that battle. Um, but for now, I'm Mizzy69, and I will catch you all soon. There is another premiere coming tonight, which is my top five favorite platoon tank. So look out for that a bit later today. But for now, I'm Mizzy, and I'll catch you soon. So